Two weeks after a devastating earthquake shook central Italy, the Vatican has announced that the Pope will be visiting victims in Abruzzo, the affected region, at the end of the month. Many are hoping that the Pope bring a message of hope to a community plagued with uncertainty. But it wasn't just Italian lives that were affected. Here in L'Aquila, a community of Peruvian immigrants have been among those whose lives were shattered by the quake. Soila lived through three earthquakes in Peru. She says her fourth in Italy was by far the worst she's seen. In 1970, when I felt the first one, I was 10 years old. Then I went through another in 1974, again in Peru, then in 2007. And now in 2009 in Italy, it's the strongest I've ever felt. Even the locals say they've never seen anything like this before. So for us, it's been a terrible experience. As the damage continues to pile up, so does the amount of money needed to rebuild. The Catholic Church has pledged an extra 2 million euro on top of the initial 3 million that were pledged in the immediate aftermath of the quake. Victims like Soila and her husband are counting on the aid to help rebuild their lives. We don't know if we'll be able to stay here in L'Aquila, not until they rebuild and make it a habitable place again with jobs. We need jobs, otherwise we'll have to take off and find another place to live. The Pope will visit L'Aquila on April 28th. Many victims lost everything they owned to the earthquake, except for one important thing that many in L'Aquila expect the Pope to reaffirm, hope. Hope is never dead, but we feel like every day there's no tranquility because we still feel aftershocks every day. So we're always on edge. But hope is something we should always have. It should never die. A public funeral was held on Good Friday for the victims killed in the earthquake. Though the Pope did not attend the ceremony, he sent his condolences with his personal secretary and Secretary of State, Cardinal Tarsicio Bertone.